A new exhibit at the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame Museum in Natchitoches pays homage to Pistol Pete Maravich, the LSU basketball player who captured the hearts and minds of a generation of fans. Sports writer and photographer John Moosmack shares his archive of Pistol Pete photos, including many that have never been on public view until now. Let's take a look as Moosmack and fans share memories and musings of Pistol Pete. Fans called Pistol Pete Maravich the Wizard of Oz for his showy, record-shattering moves on the LSU basketball team from 1967 to 1970. On and off the courts, photographer John Moosmack captured Pete's fast-paced play and personal moments. How did you have such intimate access to Pistol Pete? Well, I was, I was a sports writer at The Advocate, and I was the youngest guy on the staff. And Pete and I wasn't that far different at age. Then, of course, he was a freshman, so I got to meet him from the time he came before he made his reputation. And Preston and I kind of hit it off, and Pete and I hit it off. It features more than 40 photographs John Moosmack took, including some of Pete's dad, Press, then LSU's head basketball coach. You kind of showed up with a camera in your hand, and then you kind of went with the flow. At some point in time, Pete was going to be there. He was going to do something that nobody had ever done before. And if you were lucky, you would catch it. And if you weren't lucky, you'd sit there and say, how in the hell did he do that? Pistol Pete was a sports and cultural phenomenon in Louisiana, where young boys dreamed of being just like Pete. Kids wore floppy socks, emulating the basketball star's signature look. Former Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden was one of those young fans. He clipped newspaper headlines and compiled a scrapbook on view at the exhibit. I was in the eighth grade or thereabouts when Pete came to Baton Rouge and I was a huge fan, as was every basketball player that age uh, who just adored Pete. And I kept a scrapbook of all the news clippings from the Baton Rouge papers, the New Orleans papers, the magazines, and, and just a regular old kid's scrapbook, glued them all in. And, I, and that, that scrapbook is on loan to the museum and it's part of the exhibit with John Mushmesh's great book and all of his photographs that are, and I just looked at that exhibit. Museum come to have this collection of his photos. We were fortunate that we knew John had it, and quite frankly, Pete's profile has re-emerged with the emergence of Caitlin Clark and women's basketball and the silliness that Caitlin broke Pete's record. Caitlin set tons of records. Caitlin's record did not disturb Pete's record, but it's gotten a lot of attention on Pete, and it was the perfect time to do this and, and showcase a true Louisiana icon, it goes far beyond basketball. Pete goes to our culture, our personality, and, and really our identity as a state uh, as we went into the 60s and 70s. Pete Maravich scored 3,667 points with the LSU Tigers and went on to play in the NBA for 10 years. He died in 1988 at the age of 40 while playing a friendly game of basketball. He took his notoriety, used it for good. I think at the age of 40, the Lord said, Pete, you've done what I sent you here to do. And he took him in a church gym. And he died in the arms of an evangelist playing a pickup basketball game. I think the Lord wrote the script. What would you say about Pistol Pete the Man? Pistol Pete the Man was way beyond Pistol Pete the basketball player. Uh, Pete, I don't believe Pete's uh, role in life was really just being a Hall of Famer in college basketball and the most popular player to maybe ever play the game, a Hall of Famer in the pros. I believe Pete's real role in life came about after he went off the deep end as a pro. And then he turned his life around and found Christ and became an evangelist. I think we cannot ever stop celebrating Pete Maravich and, and, and what he meant to our state and what he means and continues to mean to a universal game, the game of basketball. He was so far ahead of his time, but he was a normal college boy. You'll get that sense in this exhibit and you'll see pictures nobody else has seen before. Pete Maravich is also a member of the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame, inducted in 1986, just two years before his untimely death. Be sure to tune in for our two-hour special recapping the 2024 Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame induction celebration and other events over the exciting weekend.
Now be sure to watch. That is July 11th at 7 p.m. right here on LPB.